Hello, so you are an admin of a server or you just launched your own dedicated server and don't know how to spawn items. And that's an easy, there's an easy way to do that. If you want to give yourself items or to others on the server, you just have to do one simple thing that is pressing F1 and you have access to the, um, to this, um, common line that is used, is always used to commit suicide by, uh, right, typing kill and then enter. And first of all, you need to know the complete the full items list that are available on the game some are still in development but you can still spawn them and how can you have access to the list there are two ways of having access to the list one of the ways it's a uh, browsing on the web for this item list there's a few sites that contains this complete list and you can always then copy uh, them copy the list there and then paste into a text document to have in your computer or you can always type here item list and enter and this will give you the full list of items that are available on the game which is great and before after i mean before the name of each item there's a code there is the code for each item that you're gonna need to spawn the items you want so what you have to do here how can you spawn these items? Press the G key and then space. Always space between the things for them to work, okay? On this case. And now, for example, I want two fridges. It's the number 149 that I need to type here to have the fridges. But then I need to type the amount. After the code of the item, you need to type the amount. I want two. So I got two fridges. Okay, that's nice. And if I uh, want only one, how can I do that? Of course, it's easy. Give fridge fridge one. Okay. And just in the case of you wanting only one, you just can come here and type uh, the number of the code of the item and press enter because it won't give you one it won't give you anything you always need to type the amount after the code and how about if i want for example let me see a beanie a beanie but i want to type the name instead of the code of this beanie because i don't want to browse keep browsing here through this long list for a beanie i just want a beanie and i just want to write the item name. You can write the item name and you'll get a beanie. But there's one thing I have to tell you. Okay, so let's write beanie and then number one. What's gonna happen is that you only type beanie and there's other items that contain beanie on its name. So beanie two, beanie three, and then the beanie you wanted. For example, if I type, as you can see, there's more items like the t shirt or everything. Or many other things I type um, give if I if I for example write give t-shirt and one <laughs> that's not gonna happen okay but if I type there's the shotgun let's r type the shotgun properly the shotgun uh, code properly and I got the shotgun if I type the word I will get everything that included the shotgun name in it. So I got the shotgun and the shotgun shells because there's shotgun, there's a shotgun word in shotgun shell title. So, and how about if I want to browse on the list for one um, specific thing, one specific group of items? For example, I want all the items that contain the goat name in it, but I don't want to browse here for everything. Just type here, item list, always, and then space, and then goat. What's gonna happen is that I already typed it. So I type it, item list goat, and every single item that contains the goat name in it appeared. As you can see, if I type uh, item list, t-shirt, I wasn't typing well. Okay. 
everything containing a t-shirt on its name will appear and it will be easier for you to have access to the code. And be aware of one thing. I'm gonna type, I want, for example, 100 C4. 100 C4. And I know the code already, so it's 144 and I want 100. It's not 1000. It's 100. And you have a short amount of slots on your inventory. And you know that C4 won't stack up to 255 like hoodlocks do. That you can stack uh, mostly resources up to 255 on your inventory, but not C4. What's gonna happen is that, yeah, I'm gonna throw all these crates into the ground because I have no space left here. It's for example, if I if I type, uh, for example, let me see, amber, amber will stack. So I will G87 to 155. I will have them stacked so it won't occupy so much based on my limited inventory. And if you, for example, I wouldn't say 100, but 500, for example, or 5,000, you will have a lot of crates all around your area, the area you are. And what's going to happen is that that may lag your server and some people abuse of that. So uh, be careful with that because it can lag your server. You can always try, but I don't advise you. And there's other thing that admins have access to that is the number 19 the number 19 is the debug backpack and i'm gonna tell you something about this debug backpack so let's uh, spawn it i want only one and it seems like a common backpack but it's actually overpowered it will give you around 30 i mean 300 slots okay so that's a lot of space on your inventory and it's overpowered because it will protect you against actually everything. So it will give you probably invincibility against uh, the environment at least. And the stats are just crazy. Okay, and many of the admins have this power to, give, to go around without dying and give you stuff. Because they are probably using this debug backpack. And you can have access to this backpack if you're a common player and you don't have admin rights. And one more thing is that, um, well, you can always uh, add some extra mods and uh, plugins to your server if you uh, want to give others the chance of spawning items by uh, through the chat by uh, typing GIF and then the item name and the number they want to spawn. And I don't have any plugin or mod installed, but you can find them through the web, like Oxide mods or Vanilla mods coming from Rust, for example. And you can browse a bit through that. Uh, but this is the common way of spawning items as an admin, okay? So I hope this was helpful. And don't abuse your powers. Thanks for watching. They randomly spawn or animal fat or yeti pelt, their pelt that you need to craft this such warm jacket that you're gonna need to survive here on the cold.